Hey boys and girls, it's Mrs. Levine, and I am super excited to read you guys a bedtime story. The book that I chose to read is a huge favorite of the kids in my house, and it's called Just the Thing. It's written by Damien Harvey, illustrated by Lynn Chapman. I hope you like it as much as we do. Big Gorilla had a pesky itch right in the middle of his back. He wriggled and he squirmed, he reached and he stretched, but he could not scratch that itch. He hopped around the room, screeching and scratching. He bumped into walls and knocked over furniture but he still could not scratch that itch. Shh, said Mama Gorilla. You'll wake little Gorilla with all this noise. You need a scratching tree. It's just the thing when I have an itch. So scratching and scratching, Big Gorilla went outside to lean against a tree. He rubbed and he scraped. He scrunched and he scooted. But the tree was all gummy and it stuck to his fur. He still could not scratch that itch. And now the itch was worse than before. It might be the thing for mom, said Big Gorilla, but it's definitely not for me. You should wallow in the mud, said Warthog. It's just the thing for a hog with an itch. So scritching and scratching, Big Gorilla stepped into the mud. He wallowed and he wiggled. He splashed and he splooshed. But the mud was too sloppy. It splattered in his eyes and spluttered in his ears. He still could not scratch that itch. And now his itch was worse than before. It might be the thing for a hog, said Big Gorilla but it's definitely not for me. You should try rolling in the grass, said Lion. It's just the thing for a lion with an itch. So scritching and scratching, Big Gorilla sprawled out on the grass. He rolled and he tumbled, he slid and he slithered. But the grass was too slippery and tickled his back. He still could not scratch that itch. And now his itch was worse than before. It might be the thing for a lion, said Big Gorilla, but it's definitely not for me. You should try rubbing against an old anthill, said Elephant. It's just the thing for an elephant with an itch. So scratching and scratching, Big Gorilla leaned against an anthill. He rubbed and he pressed, he twisted and he pushed. But the anthill wasn't an old anthill at all. It was home to an army of ants. They hit him and nipped him and chased him around. He still could not scratch the itch. And now it was worse than before. It might be the thing for an elephant, said Big Gorilla as he ran away. But it's definitely not for me. Big Gorilla raced down to the river and jumped in with a splash. He washed off the ants and the mud and the gum. Then, scratching and scorching, he wearily walked back home. He was tired and wet as he flopped on his bed, and the itch it was worse than before. Let your dad rest, said Mama Gorilla. But it was too late. Baby Gorilla had already jumped on his dad's back. He wiggled and he wriggled, he scratched and he scratched. Mmm, said Big Gorilla. Son, you're just the thing for a gorilla with an itch. And there they all are together. I hope you enjoyed that story. Have a good night's sleep and we'll see you tomorrow.